Good afternoon and welcome to Inside Trading Show. This is a show all about trading. Every week we will discuss what trading is all about and all the required habits to be a successful trader. We also share trading ideas and themes to help you make money. As always, my co-host today is Pang V. Lung, founder and CIO of Track Record Training Academy. V, welcome to the show. Hey, Brian, it's good to be back. Let's talk about trading. Now, for a start, as we always do, uh, V, what is your trading tip for the day? Okay, so I'll share a trading tip with you uh, um, uh, by uh, the greatest investor of our time, arguably the best ever. Uh, he says, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. And I think it is, uh, of course, intuitively obvious after you read it out loud, but uh, most market participants have it the wrong way, especially uh, those in the retail sector. They're always looking to buy something at a discounted price. They find it very difficult to buy it at a high price, thinking that, oh, it's been, let's just say it's $190 today. It used to be $50 two years ago. You keep thinking, oh, I need to wait for it to come off to maybe 100 or something like that, right? They have all these random levels that they come up with. Uh, maybe not random, maybe they draw lines on charts or whatever. But they don't really look at the valuation of the company as, as also as well as the prospects of the company, right? Uh, if a company is a wonderful company, it keeps going, doing well and it keeps launching new products, keep dominating the market and uh, have pricing power, huge amounts of profits. And it's a wonderful company. I think uh, over the longer term, it is much better to buy it at a, at a reasonable price than wait for it to be discounted. And many companies that are discounted uh, eventually fail, right? Eventually they run, like for example, you could buy real road companies, railway companies at half price uh, when uh, just years after they reach their peak, right? Then eventually they pretty much disappeared. So I yes. think we, uh, we got to think about that when we are looking to invest for the longer term, not so much about what the company, uh, what the price of the company was before, but rather what, what the price uh, will be, what, where the price will be headed to given the prospects and the direction the company is going, as well as the uh, dominance of its uh, uh, market, market presence. Yeah. Okay, so V, this is really interesting because it, we, we, it comes back to the trading theme of this week. It's, and I want to make a reference, obviously, to Warren Buffett and what you just said. Now, Warren Buffett uh, was not originally a believer in tech, but let me share some startling statistics with you. He now owns 5.6% of Apple, and his holding is worth over 140 billion dollars and this is a this is a 90 year old man so uh, v which brings us then to the recent announcement of apple's virtual reality and augmented reality headsets now what are your thoughts on the prospects then for apple okay cool i think i think you 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 hit it right on the nail right uh warren buffer he he detests tech he he one of his famous uh, trading quotes was that he will never invest in a company that he doesn't really understand, right? So tech is something that he doesn't really understand, which is very weird given that uh, his best friend, one of his best friends is uh, Bill Gates, right? Who uh, is the founder of Microsoft and uh, pretty much very clued in, in tech. So somehow he's, uh, he's, he's, he's not really invested in any tech companies. And the ones that, the one that he made a huge investment in was uh, finally he caved and he bought it at a high price and he kept buying it, right? It was Apple, right? And as, as, uh, as history would have it, now Apple is the biggest company uh, by, uh, in the US stock market. It's, uh, I believe the valuation yesterday was uh, $2.8 trillion. Um, it's massive. And uh, let's, uh, let me share a chart with you. Uh, we can see how far it's come, right? So uh, if you look at the charts, uh, we have we have uh, Apple around $180 yesterday, uh, yeah, uh, $180 now. Uh, it reached uh, an all-time high just this week. And I uh, um, guess you've, we've, you've been around for some time, I guess. Uh, do you 
vaguely remember when it was uh, I uh, listed. So, uh, so you know what? So here's the thing, V. You're making fun of me that I'm old uncle, right? <laughs> so I, Apple, if I'm not mistaken, was listed at something like twenty or twenty-two dollars all those years ago. Yeah. So I think I this 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 is very good memory. Yeah, you're very very close. I uh, I believe it was twenty two dollars and adjusted for splits. It's been split many times and uh, adjusted for split splits. Uh, I think this this exercise I've gone through. Many people I've asked them to guess. Maybe you just do a mental guess. How much do you think uh, it was at the initial listing price adjusted for the splits that has gone through, and it comes down to an amazing. 10 cents, right? It's not even a dollar. It's a 10 oh my cent. God, that's unbelievable. So, what so I if mean, you invested a thousand dollars, how much would it be worth today? Yeah, it would be 1.8 million dollars. A staggering 1.8 million dollars, right? So, I think uh, this one thing we should also talk about. I think most people, uh, when they invest, they are looking to invest on a very short term horizon. They are looking to make 10, 20 percent, right? Uh, but if you find companies that are really dominant in the fields that they that in the markets that they they are present in you could actually make some astounding returns like you invest a thousand dollars over a 40-year horizon and it's 1.8 million dollars and this is a life-changing wealth for most people of course through the years inflation has eroded some of the purchasing power away but i think today 1.8 million us dollars is still is still uh, some serious money right absolutely uh, so the history of uh, uh um apple right i think i think it's good to put it in context some people say oh yeah it's just another product but uh i think since it's launched you know it, it was it dominated the the pc market for a while the, the computer uh, computer market for a while but then uh steve jobs left and then finally 12 years later he returned and then start, things started to happen really in quickly for them they launched iPod in uh, October 10, 2001. And uh, 2007, they launched iPhone just before the crisis, right? And uh, then uh, in 2010, it launched iPad. As you can see, each product lines it launched, we saw uh, better and better revenue stream for them, a better and better profit margins. And uh, so what we have here today, uh, is that they just announced a Vision Pro. As you said, it's a mixed reality headset. Uh, and uh, it remains to be seen how, how big of an impact it's going to be for this company. But I think given the history so far, uh, it, even if it fail, I think they still have product lines that will do quite well, right? I think everybody who's used an Apple product hardly ever stops using an Apple product. And we haven't even talked about iTunes where you are captured forever, held hostage forever for the rest of your life with your store of data and uh, pictures, right? But, but also one of the key things is, V, I think this is, this is very significant because if you look at their last product launch, as you mentioned, it's January 2010, like the big major product range launch. Now, this is early days of the virtual reality, but what it is, I think, and, and this is my opinion, I could be wrong. Virtual reality previously, if you look at what Meta and, and the other folks have done, have been very focused on the gaming aspect of virtual reality. The reality is in the last couple of years, especially with Industry 4.0, there's really been a lot more emphasis on industrial applications of virtual reality. Apple may be on to something because it's augmented virtual reality. And what it then is, is the following. I see the opportunity for Apple to then, at this stage, because the price point is very high, is, is 3,000 plus US dollars. Making inroads into the business and industrial markets first, before the consumer markets, as an early adopter, and that could open new corporate business for them, which they've never had before. So this, I, I, if I'm an Apple shareholder, I'd be quite excited. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, given your background, you're biz tech Asia after all, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you know, you know about tech, you know about business. Uh, I think you're absolutely right. I think uh, 
Well, so far they've just revealed some details about it. It has not yet been launched, uh, but from the preview, it seems quite really quite interesting. It's mixed mixed reality. It uh, is the, the icons are floating in the space right in front of you, and uh, and the way that they're going, they imagine business meetings to be had. Your facial expressions will be uh, also simulated to your to the person you are talk, talking to, to the audience that you are speaking to. I think that opens a lot up a lot of possibilities, as you said. Many people think just just it's just about gaming, but I think it's about uh, industrial applications like meetings as well. And I have friends who are in the architecture business where they currently they do use some virtual reality to sim to, uh, to to show their clients how the the, the layouts of buildings and stuff will be, and, and 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 office spaces will be right. I mean, can you can imagine how it, how 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 impactful it will be when it is uh imagine in your space that's just around you uh, i think the applications are the possibilities are, are unimaginable for the most of us right right now uh but I, i'm also excited as you said the shareholders are excited i say i'm, I'm excited it's their first product launch in 13 years and uh um and they've not they've they've always not been the they've rarely been the first to launch a product uh uh line but they they They've always managed to dominate it after uh, when they venture into the market. So I think it's a well thought out of process that they have. So I think uh, if uh, you put it in perspective of the history that they've been, the track record, I think it is going to be something quite uh, that, that needs to be monitored in the weeks and months ahead. Now, V, thank you very much for taking your time, time to come on the show. Okay. Uh, let's continue our search for the next 10 cents stock that will go to $1.8 million in some number of years. That's it for this week's Inside Trading Show. We've been speaking to Pan V. Lung. He's the founder and CIO of Track Record Trading Academy. I'm Brian Fernandez. This interview will be on our website, www.biztech.asia, as well as our syndication partners, TV stations, radio stations, and websites. Thanks a lot for tuning in.